Welcome back, Egyptology lovers. Today we are discussing the stella of Senris and Hermes. Um, this is a New Kingdom stella during the reign of Ahmos I. He was the liberator of the uh, invading force, the Hyksos. Uh, this stella is made of limestone, and it is very typical of that period. Uh, beautifully carved, very well executed. Uh, it has some damage, which is normal, but that's just the time period. So for this funerary stella, what we have is rectangular with a roundular top. The round top represented the, ro the circular movement of the sun from the east to the west and back again. So everything was about rejuvenation and rebirth and eternal cycle. At the very top, you have the wajet eyes, the eyes of protection. They also embodied, uh, when the person died, they embodied where their ka or their ba, most likely their ka, was embodied within the stella. And they were used, these eyes, to see two two inside our world from the spiritual world over to our world. So the wajid eyes were always put this way on the top. Also, they would be put onto the coffins on the very side. So a body would be laying a mummy and they could see out too. So this was it. All right, so you have the, um, the Shen ring, which is also the cartouche ring. This is the symbol of eternity, a circular motion. It was a royal symbol as well, where the royalty would put their name inside it. So it would be more oval-like. So here now we have Senris and Hermes, so the main uh, patriarch of the family and the main person of the Stella. This is his name right over here. Uh, this is the word follower. So everything in the Stella is read in one direction, from right to left. So the follower, Sen, this is the hieroglyphic word for Sen, the arrow pointing down is Sen, and this is the N which complements it. So Sen, Res, so Senris, so two words. So Senris made vindicated or justified. So he has been absolved, he is pure, he can go on to the afterlife. Over here you have Hermes, his wife, who is holding him in a very tender and affectionate way with her arm. Um, just to say that, Sin, uh, Sin, sorry about that, Sinaris is holding the lotus flower, which is a, up to his nose, which is a symbol of rejuvenation. And he is seated with her on the same table, on the same chair. Um, and he is wearing a nice collar and bracelets, and arm bracelets as well. He is pointing to an offering table. Uh, this table is pretty indicative of all Stella table offerings. And there's bread, beer, some, I guess, onion rolls or some kind, and then some uh, linen or clothing as well. So going on to his wife, Hermas. She is sitting as well with her elongated wig as well, nicely decorated, sitting down. Now, both are sitting on a chair that has panther or leopard or lion legs. Remember, in the old kingdom, I said in the other videos, they were bovine or cow. But in the later kingdoms, they became more uh, leopard or lion. So that's an interesting little observation if you want to know what period they're from. And this is her title. His wife, the lady of the house, Hermes, Hermes, or born of Horus. So that's the description of the stella itself. Let's start beginning reading the uh, the inscription. Uh, there's five rows, and we're going to read from right to left, and going down, right to left, right to left, right to left to the very end. So here it is. An offering, which the king, so an offering, hip-hip, which the king gives to Osiris, Lord of Jadu, or Basuris, or Arabic for Abu Sir, in the modern day Abu Sir. The great God, Lord of Abju, or Abydos. He has given voice offering of bread and beer, ox and fowl, alabaster and linen. You, incense and oil, all things good and pure on which the God lives. To the, to the Ka of the follower, Senris, and that's his determinative hieroglyph that this is him, Vindicated or justified, just as, as the very top here, he's vindicated. The husband's wife, she gives life to his name, the lady of the house, Hermas. There she is at the very bottom. So this says that she is the one 
that commissioned this for him. She dedicated it for him. So it could have been done before he died or after he died. It's uncertain, but it seems like it was after he died. But don't quote me on it. This is just an observation. So there you go. That's the uh, the simple Stella of the New Kingdom for Hermes, probably around 1539 BC to 1425 BC. 18th dynasty made of limestone. Uh, and this is from Upper Egypt. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, I'll make some more again as usual. If you like, then please follow and like and comment, and I'll be happy to make some more. So this is the Stella of Senres and Hermes, husband and wife. Thank you.